CBB's Bedtime Story. Hello, I'm Bernard. Do you like this CBB's Christmas tree? Oh, look, very pretty, isn't it? Well, in tonight's bedtime story, Little Mouse is helping Big Mouse to dress their Christmas tree and he goes on a big adventure to find that last decoration. It's by Diana Hendry and Jane Chapman and it's called The Very Snowy Christmas. It was Christmas Eve. Big Mouse was making cheese pies. Little Mouse was making paper chains. Happy Christmas to us! Happy Christmas to us! sang Little Mouse. Big Mouse, can I decorate the Christmas tree now? Can I? Can I? We'll do it together, said Big Mouse. Little Mouse hung golden acorns and mistletoe berries on the tree. Big Mouse put a star on the top. But we've forgotten the holly, cried Little Mouse. I'll go and get some. And off he rushed. Mind it has nice red berries, called Big Mouse. Little Mouse set off down the path singing. Jolly holly, holly, jolly, jolly, holly Christmas. But there was no holly to be seen on the first corner. And no holly on the second corner. And... No holly on the third corner. Over the bridge ran Little Mouse and at last he found a holly bush with shiny red berries. He jumped up and down with excitement. Oh, jolly holly, holly, jolly, jolly, holly Christmas, sang Little Mouse, stretching high on his toes to reach some. But suddenly, soft white flakes started falling all around him. One flake fell on Little Mouse's nose and made him sneeze. <laughs> oh, goodness me, said Little Mouse. The sky is coming undone. Little Mouse began to hurry home. Lots more pieces of sky were falling on him. Faster and faster they fell. They fell on his ears and his whiskers and his tail. Oh, oh dear, oh dear, said Little Mouse. I'd better take some of this to show Big Mouse. He'll know how to stitch the sky together again. Little Mouse made a ball of white flakes and put it in his bucket. Back over the bridge he hurried and suddenly... He saw a strange creature in the water making faces at him. It had lots of ears and a squiffy face and it waved its arms at Little Mouse. Oh! squeaked Little Mouse. It's a mouseless monster! And he fell on his bottom. Oh! I wish Big Mouse was here, he cried, scrambling up. Back down the path ran Little Mouse, looking over his shoulder to see if the mouse nest monster was following him. It wasn't, but something was. Little Mouse could see its paw prints coming after him. Help! 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 <coughs> squeaked Little Mouse. Now there's an invisible monster chasing me! Little Mouse ran up and down and round and round in circles to escape, but the paw prints of the invisible monster went up and down and round and round after him. Little Mouse ran and ran. Faster and faster whirled the white flakes and faster and faster ran Little Mouse. And still the invisible monster followed him. At last, Little Mouse saw his house, but there, in the garden, was a huge White Mouse. Oh, no, 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 squeaked Little Mouse. Another monster waiting to catch me. Little Mouse trembled and began to cry. But then the front door opened and there was Big Mouse. Little Mouse leapt into Big Mouse's arms. Oh, Big Mouse, Big Mouse, he cried. The sky has come undone. And look, he wailed, pointing to the paw prints. An invisible monster had been following me and there was a terrible mouse-less monster in the water and now that scary white mouse is staring at me. Oh, Little Mouse, said Big Mouse. The sky hasn't come undone. It's snowing. And there aren't any invisible monsters. Those are your paw prints. And the mouse nest monster was your reflection in the water. Look! And Big Mouse showed Little Mouse his face in a puddle. And this 
is a snow mouse I made to welcome you home, he said. Let's make another. And so they did. Snow is magic, cried Little Mouse. Yes, said Big Mouse. Father Christmas liked snow too. Little Mouse jumped up and down. Will he be here soon? Can I hang up my stocking now? You can, said Big Mouse. Let's go and get warm first. So in they went and warmed their paws by the fire. Little Mouse hung up his stocking and Big Mouse hung up his stocking too. The holly berries shone in the firelight. It's almost Christmas, said Little Mouse. Happy jolly, jolly holly Christmas! And he wriggled his warm toes. That story was called The Very Snowy Christmas. I'll see you soon for another bedtime story. Good night. Sleep tight. <laughs>